All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. Y'all, of course, it is May, and May has come. This is National Masturbation Month, so this whole month we will be focusing on masturbation, and today we're going to be talking about how masturbation is a sleep aid. Um, but before we get off into that, I want to talk about something extremely important. Um, right now, the Supreme Court um, is looking to overturn Roe versus Wade, okay? Um I told everyone, if you have never saw The Handmaid's Tale, you need to go and watch it. Um, it's a couple of seasons in now, but basically it's about um, what we're experiencing right now. It started with reproductive rights. It started with um, basically certain things, certain privileges and rights that women had began to be taken from them slowly. And I'm stressing slowly. And in this um, Hulu series, uh, you see the ladies that are protesting against the government. But then it gets to the point where so many laws are changing and so, so much is becoming illegal to the point that you women wake up and it is now illegal for them to even read. Women that once had the right to be able to read and who know how to read if they are caught reading, it is illegal. If a woman decides that she wants to get birth control, her husband has to basically go and sign off on it and go to the pharmacy. If a, if, if um, all women were actually, if you've never saw this series, you should watch it. Women were getting up every day, going to work, and then they showed up to work one day and was told, it's illegal for women to work now. So you got to go back home because it's illegal for you to work. And you had a lot of husbands that were not on board with what was going on, but the things were, the laws were changing so fast until the point that, you know, it was like, okay, we, you know, we can leave and we can try to go to Canada. Um, but then all of a sudden, when you try to leave and go to Canada, well, sir, yeah, you could go, but no, ma'am, you can't go. You know, it was like things like that was going on. So, if you have not watched The Handmaid's Tale, um, I urge you to take some time out to actually check it out because a lot of times these things are, are movies and it's, uh, it's all fictional stuff. But I'm one of those people, y'all, God has blessed me with a gift to be able to see ahead and it's, it's a wisdom. And I'm able to see the direction that things are going. That's why I'm telling you two is better than one. Why am I saying two is better than one? Because I seen a pack of chicken that you can go to the store and get for $6. When I went to the store last week, um, might have been Friday or Saturday, that same pack of chicken is now $20. I went to the corner store to get a 20 ounce Coca-Cola and it was $2.74. A cold drink that is normally 99 cents. For a 20 ounce cold drink. But the thing is, I'm the type of person that's paying attention to numbers because when I go to the store, I'm spending cash money. So I'm watching it come out of my bank account. So of course, I'm I'm going to be paying attention to the numbers. I'm looking at a bag of chips in the store. It's $4.69 for a bag of chips. So I'm paying attention. So I'm urging all of you all to pay attention to what is going on Things are happening right in front of us. And a lot of times people don't want to say this, but if Donald Trump didn't do nothing else, he gave the Republican Party judges. He gave them judges. And, and it does not matter who we vote into office. The Supreme Court, they set precedents. They set things in order for everybody to abide by. And right now, it's not looking good for us, ladies. It's not looking good for us. So with that being said, on yesterday, I said, today, we have to be no more sexually responsible than ever. Why do we have to be more sexually responsible today versus five years ago, 10 years ago? Because this is bigger than an STD. This is bigger than an STI. 
This is, if you get pregnant, you're going to have to deal with him because you can't get rid of it. You won't be able to get rid of it. Meaning that you got to be sexually responsible about who you're sharing your womb with because this person may actually be the person that you got to co-parent with. And if they ain't hitting on nothing right now and they ain't good for nothing but some good jug, you might want to rethink that. Or if you already see that he got six, seven, eight, nine, ten children that he not really doing anything for, you may want to rethink that. You know, I'm not, I, I, you know, I'm to the point where I ain't, I ain't, sho I'm not shoving marriage down your throat no more because I understand that everybody don't want it. But I understand there's certain things that come along with marriage as, as such as establishing paternity, meaning that if it don't work out, you can go there and you can do your paperwork and you can get your insurance set up. But it ain't that easy when paternity ain't been established because his name ain't even on the birth certificate because he didn't show up to the birth because he wasn't active during the pregnancy. See, these are the type of these, these are the type of things that you're gonna have to think about when I'm opening my legs and spreading it wide for him, and it's a possibility that uh oh, he'll come, baby. What type of parent will he be? We got some things that's going on right now, y'all. We living in some times. It's 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 scary because I want me to tell you why it's scary. It's scary because I'm watching people not pay attention. That's why it's scary. I'm watching people. Only thing they focusing on is they summer vacation right now. They don't even know what's going on with Roe versus Wade right now. And they can care less until they get pregnant and they got to keep it. Or what about the people who experience rape? They got to keep it. Or incest? They got to keep it. See, it's bigger than just us making bad choices. It's even affecting the people who didn't even have a choice, such as rape and incest and certain things like that. Yeah. So this is why masturbation is going to be your friend, because before you go to just open it and spread it wide, you may want to say, you know what? How about I pleasure me? How about I learn to take care of me to be able to get myself um, together when I had these urges to want to go and get some. OK, so we all know that masturbation does reduce stress levels. Um, it does increase confidence in the bedroom because you you kind of know about you. Um, it improves your mood. Yes, it does. Y'all know how people act when they didn't got them a little bit child when people didn't got them a little bit and it was good. Oh, baby. Yeah. That churn can do anything. Everybody can do anything because you didn't got you a little bit. It, it, it helps with your mood. And it helps you to learn your sexual response system. That is very important that you learn your body, your sexual response system, and what it is that your body does when you have, you know, an awesome orgasm. Y'all know I love my notes. All right. So how does this help with sleep? How does masturbation help with sleep? So listen, when we have an orgasm, y'all, it literally impacts our whole body. Our whole body, our nerves, the blood flow. The, the brain chemicals, the hormones, all of these things are impacted when we masturbate, when we have the orgasm. Y'all notice that we be on like this euphoric high and then we all of a sudden we come all the way back down. That's the end of the sexual response system. That is the, called the resolution stage where you actually have the high and then you literally just start to come down from it. And a lot of times when you're coming down from it, cortisone is released. And that is when you start to experience being really, really tired and you're laying there and then somebody comes and reaches you a wet towel because you was too tired to get up and go and get yourself together because the cortisone was released. And I know that y'all know what I'm talking about. You know when, when and, and this is when you're having sex with a partner, but the same thing happens when you masturbate and you have the big O. Uh, I, I urge that you have you a towel on a nightstand waiting and ready or get you some baby wipes and put on a nightstand. That way when it's all over, you can just wipe yourself up and you can go ahead and drift off to sleep because that's what your body naturally wants to do. But if you had sex and you had some good sex, a lot of times your body does the exact same thing. And you know, if you got a partner that's kind, they'll kind of help you out a little bit and reach you a, a, a wet rag and let you wipe yourself up, you know. But we're focusing on the masturbation. So if you're doing it yourself, have you some baby wipes on deck, 
have your own wet towel on deck. Another thing when you're masturbating is you want to take your time. This is not something that we that you should rush through. You're not in a rush. Take your time. Uh, pay attention to your body. Do you like it when you do it with your fingers or do you like it when you do it with your bullet better? In other words, the fingers is a lot of times the stimu the process is a little longer, but it can also be a little more intense. Sometimes with the bullet, it happens so fast and as, as quick as it happened, as quick as it's over with, you know. So pay attention. Do you like manual stimulation versus the actual um, motorized with the, the bullet? And if you are using a bullet, do you like direct stimulation to the clitoris? Or do you like to trace the bullet up and down and around the lips? Or do you like to put the bullet on the inside and pull it back out? Like, what is it that you enjoy? Or do you like actual toys that are dual toys where you have like the jackrabbit, where you have a shaft portion that goes in and then something stimulating the clitoris on the outside? Those are the things that you have to pay attention to and you have to take your time with your body. Okay? Let's see. I'm just making sure I, all right, so I'm just making sure I'm not missing nothing. All right, so a lot of us are taking like different things like melatonin. A lot of us are, um, some people like to, to smoke to relax. Some people like to take sleep aids to relax. One of the benefits of masturbation is you're not putting anything foreign or anything, um, any type of supplement in your body. So a lot of times the next day you don't have this lingering effect to where is, you know, you can still feel like, you know, you took something. Cause I know when I was taking those gollies, the golly gummies, the blue ones, um, and they had the melatonin in them. I would sleep really good, but what I didn't like was the next morning when I had to get up, I would still be groggy, meaning that I could still feel it on me. So I, I didn't like that at all. So that's why I kind of stopped taking them. But um, when you masturbate, then it's all natural and you can get a really good night's rest and you can wake up the next morning refreshed and ready to get it, you know, get your day started all over again. Okay. So that's going to be it on the sleep and masturbation. Do not forget, we do have the silver bullets here at the store for $5. They are online as well. Thank you, all of the ladies who have been taking advantage of the great sale. Yes, yes, yes. We I ordered a whole bunch of them so that I would not run out. I did not want to run out. So we have a whole bunch of them. And lastly, if you came to the store on yesterday and the store was not open, I apologize. Okay, I had no idea that the store was closed um, early. When I found out that the store was closed, it was hours later. Um, and that is one of the things that is one of my biggest pet peeves, especially with black owned businesses. I don't like to go and pull a handle on a door and the door doesn't open when your sign says that you're supposed to be open at a certain time. So if you came on yesterday, I apologize. I was not aware of it, but um, you know, that, that kind of comes with the territory um, when you're a business owner and you kind of putting your business in the hands of other people. Sometimes it's not handled sometimes the way that you would handle it. So I just want to apologize because like I said, I didn't know until my last worker for the evening came in and called me and said, Miss Sharonda, the store is locked. And I'm like, what you mean? You know, so I had to come over here and open up the store. But um, if you came on yesterday, I apologize. But I will be here today. So if you come today, you will be dealing with me. And if you come tomorrow, you'll be dealing with me. Okay. All right. You all be blessed. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I have everything that I need to be able to do my demonstration or whatever. But I don't even know. I may just wait to do it on Friday. Because tomorrow y'all going to wake up drunk because of Cinco de Mayo. Y'all going to wake up with a bottle in y'all hand like y'all Mexican. I already know it. And tomorrow um, my cousin has an event in Baker. Uh, detailer 
with uh D Boilers. Y'all, that's my cousin. My my real cousin. <laughs> so um y'all go out there and support D tomorrow. I'll be out there supporting D tomorrow. Uh Tyree Neal is gonna be performing tomorrow out there. That's for people, my people that's not from Louisiana, y'all we big on blues and Zydeco and all of that down here in Louisiana. So it's a whole concert going on out there tomorrow. Um and it starts at 3 p.m. It's no cover charge. And you know, come come and bring um your coins, because they're going to be out there cooking, and Ruffin's got the daiquiris and all of that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a vibe tomorrow, y'all. So I probably won't do my, my demonstration tomorrow, because y'all going to be drunk. All right. <laughs> y'all be blessed.